you will lose. So let's go ahead and continue with my review of the NECA Series 2 Rocky figures, which are from Rocky 4. And the winner this time was the Siberian Bull in his yellow trunks, which he defeated Apollo Creed in. Well, I shouldn't say defeated. I should say uh, pretty much beat to death. Yeah, he beat him to death. What a bastard. Let's go ahead and get into the review. So the packaging, this is going to, again, be a quick review. Um, if you haven't seen any of my NECA series Rocky figure reviews before, watch my very first one. I will do an in-depth review of the packaging. But these packages are the same for every figure, pretty much. We have Ivan Drago written on the front, and we have the poster for Rocky IV. On the back, it has the same paragraph and the same pictures. We get a shot of Apollo Creed from Series 1. Rocky from Series 2, and the upcoming Series 3, Clubber Lang and Black Trunks, which I will be reviewing shortly. So I pretty much keep giving the same rating for packaging on these NECA figures, and I got to thinking I probably shouldn't even be giving a package review because I keep giving it the same thing, and the packages are pretty much the same. But I had the idea to do a packaging review because when I start doing the Jack Pacific Rocky figures, every single package is different from the next. So I'm really excited to go ahead and get into those. But first I gotta tackle the NECA figures. And again, it's gonna get a four out of 10, and I have said it many times, it's because the packaging really doesn't change uh, from each figure. So it's gonna be four out of 10 as usual. Okay, moving on with the head sculpt. First off, I gotta point out that they got his hair color right. Just like the Ivan Drago and Red Trunks, the hair color is right. Good job NECA for getting that correct. And okay. Here's my problem. Why does Ivan Drago look so sad? And I don't mean sad like he looks like he's a weakling. I mean he looks sad like emotionally sad, like his puppy just died. I don't really get why they went that way with the look on this guy's face. From the sides, he looks like Dolph Lundgren, and in the front, he looks like Dolph Lundgren, but he looks so sad. I just don't know why they did that. And that's always kind of bothered me with this figure, with the pouty lips and the, the eyes. Um, I think they could have gone with a more stern, determined look for Ivan Drago. And you know what? Maybe it's just my opinion. Maybe no one else saw that, but when I look at him, I think this guy's about to cry. Did any of you guys ever feel sorry for Ivan Drago? I mean, Russia was, like, molding him to be this um, boxer that could, like, take on America. You know, it was during the Cold War. And, you know, when I was a kid, I was like, oh, like, I kind of feel a little bit sorry for Ivan Drago. Um, but then, you know, you see him juicing, and then he kills Apollo Creed, and then you just figure out, you know, he's just really a bastard. That's what it comes down to. So he's going to go ahead and get a 9 out of 10 for head sculpt from me. Um, I would have given it a 10 out of 10 if it wasn't for his sad face. I mean, what's he so upset about? I mean, he killed Apollo Creed. He did what he was supposed to do, you know, take on America. Don't be a baby. 9 out of 10 for head sculpt. Now, attire-wise, NECA always gets it right, and there is no exception here. We have the yellow trunks with the red stripe, and that's exactly how it was in the movie. And we have the Russian flag symbol on the trunks. Let's go ahead and look at the gloves. Again, it says tough wear. That's awesome that NECA can get the trademark logos on the gloves. This is the first in a line of toys that I'm aware of, uh, and they got the colors right on the gloves as well. And they got the colors right on the boots. They got the red stripes and the yellow boots. So again, awesome job, NECA, with the colors and the attire. So I got to go 10 out of 10 for attire, again, with the NECA figures. They do an awesome job with the attire. The colors are right. They got the copyright on the gloves. The boots look great. I mean, huh, if NECA messed up the attire, I would be truthfully surprised. So keep doing what you're doing, 10 out of 10. So this figure, just like the other Rocky NECA figures, has a ton of articulation points, and that's why I always give it such a high score. Even though I keep it in the box, I do know that they move abundantly more than any Rocky figure. All the points of articulation are the same as from the other figures, and there's a lot. So, 10 out of 10 for articulation. Yeah! it up for my review of Ivan Drago, the Siberian Bull from Rocky IV. Stay tuned next for the last figure in the Series 2 line, 
Blood Spitting Rocky. I'm kind of surprised that uh, it didn't get the most votes uh, right off the bat. In fact, it was the last figure that I'm going to be reviewing in the series, and it's a cool one, so stay tuned for that. And then, I have coming in the mail this week, the Series 3 figures already. Can you believe it? So stay tuned for those reviews, and thanks for watching, guys. We will catch you later.